Hey everybody, it is Quicken. So today, not really today. So most of you guys know that last week I got a Q tattoo. So beautiful, we love it. So I've been having a really hard time healing it. And I thought it was just me, but I posted a picture of it yesterday and um, one of my friends, the tattoo artist, Yelena, you might know her, she did my Reaper tattoo at tattoo convention. So she told me that I should get some Saniderm or Tagaderm. I've never tried it before, even on this channel, like people ask me to try it all the time and I'm just like, huh. But she told me, you know, it's just a hard place to heal and it's summer and I'm riding my bike and this tattoo is like upsetting me and it hurts, like even standing right here right now, it hurts. Um, and you know, I'm kind of like, I'm a tattooed angel. I know how to heal all my own tattoos. But this one, I'm just like, what is going on? So I hit up my friend and we are going to try to buy some Tagaderm, Saniderm. Uh, Yelena told me I can just get it at Walgreens, which I didn't know. I thought it was like from the hospital store, a real store. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm getting ready to leave and hopefully my friend is cool with it. So let's see. <laughs> Going to CVS, I feel like you can see how active this like little area is. I don't know, poor little baby. Sorry. Ugh, <laughs> so the girl said that it's at Walgreens, so it, it might not be at CVS. I don't know where there's a Walgreens though, so Downtown. They probably sell it, like, she may have just said Walgreens as, like, a, um, common yeah, speak. A generic. A generic. Oh, damn, that did wipe out? Oh, idiot. Dude. Alright. If it's not a CVS, though, there's, like, that Pharmacy of America 6. I think they'll have it, though. Down there? Yeah. It's kind of, it's like a burn relief type thing. Oh, Jesus. Here, Papa John's while we're here. Okay, we were riding and we found a garage sale? Flea market? Howie. But if this isn't my aesthetic. This Rite Aid has a drive through I think technically. Should we park in a parking spot? Oh, not this, not this one. We need batteries and I think it's in first aid. <laughs> like burn relief or wellness. This is a really nice Rite Aid. This fucking fool is that bamboo? Wow. It's high gloss finish. All right, pain relief, it might be there. That's how you know, it's for boys. Damn it. Are any of these batteries on sale? We're getting close. Sport tape. It's called, I forget what it's called. It's called like Saniderm or like Tagaderm. Scarlet. Um, this music's happening. That's kind of, exp okay, they have it in a few flavors. It's buy one, go one 50% off. Do you see yourself getting a wound soon to justify this purchase? I, um, I don't trust my wounds. I think, I think I have to get, how, how big are they? Pop, pop that box open. <laughs> They're pretty big. This one's a dollar cheaper. Oh wait, the measurements Sorry. are on there. That doesn't help me. Well, this is, this is the only one that's going to work to A sorted bag. I can't, I can't read and write. This is hard. This is too big. No, god damn it. <laughs> what is she doing? This is what I need for my leg. I love Justin Bieber. Oh, do you want to get peanut butter Ritz and ruin our lives? You mean enlighten ourselves? They don't have it. They only have cheese. Yeah. Let's leave. Let's steal these. 
Just use Siri to call Papa John's. I don't have Siri. This is like an iPhone 1. <laughs> you on hold for no cheese? <laughs> she was like, oh, ah, yeah. I gotta talk to my manager. <laughs> It says that a pizza is thirteen dollars. We'll, we'll dispute it. <laughs> Nineteen dollars. That's a lot of money. There's a no cheese tax. It's my stuff. It's gonna cost so much money. <laughs> Still Wound. It looks really bad right now. <laughs> Help me, Rite Aid. Thank you so much. Thank you, too. I got black person on Hello. That was expensive. <laughs> With tax, that tagaderm shit was like $17. Sounds about right. What isn't tax? Is medical supply not tax? Well, I guess it is taxed. We should have got those Ritz crackers. We're gonna fucking pop a job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they put cheese on it. What? It stinks. <laughs> so, this is our second pizza. I kind of. Should we get like some fucking spaghetti sauce? They were gonna give it to me on the side. I was like, you know, I'm just let me get out of here. I was like, fuck this. I'm on the side, it might be kind of good. What's like dipping in? Shoot, you want me to go back and get it? I'm gonna be like, he was furious. <laughs> he couldn't even talk. To you. The girls in the window were laughing. <laughs> oh, were yuck, dude. I'm getting such bad sunburn. Oh, this is awful. Just eat, eat it. And I'll. I mean, I think dipping it in marinara would be fun. Go get it then. Wait, what's it taste like? Ew. <laughs> <laughs> Is it good? Does it taste like garlic? Yo, should I get that red sauce? <laughs> We're supposed to do this today. So my paper towels are all shredded because Ethan shredded them all. But I'm going to put on this little tagaderm thing. Am I saying this right? Please don't jump on the bed, you'll knock over the camera. So I have this, and it's just this one size here. The other size was too small. So I'm just peeling this. Ethan, I swear on your mother's grave. Okay, I'm really not trying to be rude to Ethan, but he already got like a cat hair in this tattoo, and I feel like there's a hundred reasons why this thing isn't healing, and that's probably one of them. And my main question is, who is he? I think it goes like this. I'm putting this on there. And I don't think it's gonna be... S such a weird spot. I really don't think it's gonna stay. So now that that's on, I'm just peeling this off. I really don't think it's gonna stay. But I didn't know this is what they give you on your IVs at the hospital. Right, so let's investigate this here. So it's completely on. It's chill. I do feel it pulling, like when I move my leg. I guess I should have done it standing up. God damn it. I'm going out with my friends tonight, so we'll see how it all goes. It looks better. I don't know. I did take a nap after I ate that toxic pizza, so maybe, maybe that helped. Okay, standing up, I do feel some pulling, but it's like from behind here. I feel like I should be goody. Sorry, I like just did my laundry. I don't, I don't know what to tell you about the state of my room. That feels alright. Alright, let's get dressed. 
So I can already 100% tell you I hate the way this feels. It feels like every time I step, it's pulling. Um, I'm about to get on my bike, so I'm sure that will fucking suck. But <laughs> maybe I'm just being kind of dramatic. It's starting to like have this red ring around it. Which it like had before, no doubt. And then there's like lines in it. And right here is already starting to peel up. And right here too. You're supposed to be able to like swim and stuff in this. And some of you guys know I swim in the river, so I still don't think this would like sustain river swimming. I have no idea. It's already peeling. It's been like one minute. But we'll see if I ride my bike how it is. It's just a shitty spot. Like that's all it really is. Hey everybody. So it has been three days since I put on the Tegaderm. Um, so today was the day I wanted to take it off. And I'm actually wearing pants today. Wait, excuse me. So that's actually been really cool and like something I didn't really think about um, because it's been like so chilly in Philadelphia these last couple days and I've just been wearing like knee high socks and a skirt and feeling so weird. So I another cool thing about the Tagaderm for sure is I can throw on some jeans and let's see. So this is what it looks like after three days. I took some footage of it yesterday. I thought we were gonna go swimming and I kind of just like punked out and it was like a little too chilly to swim. Like, um, like I said, it hasn't really been that warm, but if you look at it, I'm kind of like, what's this part? Blech. Like, is that blood? <laughs> so that kind of looks like that kind of smushed up and you can like run your finger over it and it's warm down here is like blech too so i probably had this tattoo like a whole week before i put this tagaderm on um i took a shower last night and everything seems pretty chill if anything there's just like the slightest discoloration on this thing yeah sure and no ethan hairs can get into it so that's been really nice i don't know how long this can stay on god damn it um but for some reason, I feel like three days, someone told me three days. Maybe um, Yelena told me three days. So I'm going to run my errands because I want to wear these jeans and um, run some errands. And then when I come home, I'm going to take it off. Um, I'm not like eager to take it off, honestly. Like that weird bubble in it that looks like blood. I don't think it's blood because it's like red ink, right? Guys? I don't know how long you keep this on. Are we dead serious right now? Why wouldn't I just Google it? Where's my phone, Ethan? All right, I'm really hungry. <laughs> okay, so this has been on for almost like over three days now. Not over, like technically three days. And you can kind of see like parts of it like right here and stuff, like have that, that blob of ink. So I'm gonna take this off now. Right in this corner down here, it did start to like peel up, but the peeling like didn't really go anywhere. Um, I've taken a bath, like four showers, and so far only like right there peeled up. I'm like scared that this other, like maybe the peeling of like these scabs and stuff are gonna come up with it. That's like my only fear. Ugh, I don't like the way that feels at all. Rip it off like a bee indeed. I really feel like this is so sticky. Like, it's gonna- I feel like it would peel off. I'm like really scared. I don't know why I did this. So, this says, Grasp one edge to catch the corner of the tegaderm during dressing one piece of tape. Gently lift edge. With other hand, place fingers on top of the dressing to support skin. Gently stretch the tegaderm dressing straight out of the, straight out and parallel to the skin. This will release the adhesive on the dressing. As tegaderm dressing is loosened, you may either alternatively stretch and relax the dressing, or walk your fingers under the dressing to continue stretching it. What does that even mean? My English isn't this good. Okay, so what I've gathered is you stretch it off your skin, uh, which I already like fucked up. So let's, maybe I still have a chance here. 
I don't, this seems like... I'm gonna cry, this is awful. This sucks, dude. I'll never do this again. What the fuck? Um, so I got this off, and it's kind of weird, like, I don't know, like, what the fuck? Like, all this is, like, kind of juicy and weird, and this, like, smells, it smells really weird, too. It smells like old bread, like TMI. Like, I guess, like, my tattoo is kind of healed under there, but... Not really, dude. Like, not really. I guess I should have kept it on for a few more days. And maybe it would have continued to heal. Like, maybe I took this off prematurely. This is just like, I had never used this before. Like, what is that goo? Okay, so I have the bandage off, and I mean, I think I may have overreacted a little bit because I was pretty scared. Um, but it's not completely healed yet. I think, you know, if I would have left the bandage on a couple more days, I probably would have seen a little bit better results. But, um, I don't know. I was just like, it's my first time using it and I was getting really nervous having it on there for so long. And that like weird, like, pudge of what I thought was blood was like making me feel really weird. But this is it off. Um, I got this tattoo last Monday, and today is Monday. So I've had this tattoo, no, today's Wednesday, Jesus. So I think my overall impression with Tegaderm, like, I think it's really cool for definitely the summer. I mean, I didn't go swimming, we almost did. So there's kind of that, I mean, I'm, I ride my bike every day, I'm like sweating, so there was a lot of relief with that, especially like, and my cat's hair is like literally in everything. So it was cool to keep it clean in that sense, and since it, since it was like a high impact area right on my leg, right in the fold of my knee, riding my bike, dirt, all that stuff, it was good to have it there. I like went to a show Saturday night, and you know, didn't feel like I had to wear pants or something to, like, protect my tattoo. So, like, that was cool. I definitely enjoyed the aspect of that. Um, taking it off was really nerve-wracking to me. Um, I felt really nervous taking it off. And, um, even then it was, like, a little bit uncomfortable. Um, there were points when I was wearing it where it would feel tight, like it was pulling. And... That was kind of scary. If I didn't have a better relationship with my tattoo artist, you're so freaking weird. You're weird. If I didn't have a better like relationship with my tattoo artist, like if I got tattooed by a traveling tattoo artist or like someone overseas, I would feel really nervous that something could go wrong healing it that way. Just because like even when I took the wrapping off now, I was like what if something goes wrong? Um, so that made me nervous. It was tight on the skin. I kept feeling like I was doing something wrong. And even now in the comments, you might tell me like I did something wrong. But the directions on here are definitely like very medical, which like I don't know anything about. Um, and these were also a little expensive. So I would definitely say that there's pros and cons to using Tegaderm. Um, like, if you got tattooed on vacation, for sure, fucking use it. Like, a tropical vacation? Any old vacation. I definitely see pros and cons, but for me, like, I definitely have a method of healing that I really like. But then again, it is the middle of the summer, and I am active, so it did help. So, I leave it up to you guys. You guys decide. Would you use this? Have you used it before and you love it? I know when I bought the box, a ton of people messaged me and they were like, fuck yeah, I've been waiting for you to use this stuff. And I think it just made me nervous. But then again, when I was healing my cardinal tattoo, I was bumping it so much that even definitely like this little tail feather needs to be retouched. 
and I was bumping it so much that I actually put like a hard gauze around my wrist. Um, so I feel like if I would have used Tegaderm a couple years ago, or if I would have known about it, it would have been something I would have used because it is a high impact area. I guess my final thoughts are I'm glad that it exists, but removing it made me really nervous. Um, the tattoo, you know, does look fine. It does have a couple, like, little more peelies left to it. But now that I've, like, calmed down, uh, I feel better about it. And it doesn't hurt to be removed or anything like that now that I've, like, chilled out. So, in my opinion, some people might really like it and some people might not. But I'm glad that I tried it. And I have three more, so maybe I would try it again if I get tattooed again this summer because I have been tattooed back to back and if I don't swim in the river soon, Ethan, I'm gonna be really sad that I waste my summer. So thank you guys so much. Sorry about this like Dear Diary style like tattoo talk, but I thought I'd try something different and I really didn't know what I was getting into, so here's the play by play. Give this video a thumbs up if you are into it. Let me know in the comments for everyone else too. What has your experience been? And if you've never tried it, would you? This is definitely like a medical type of thing. So maybe you've used it before and you didn't even know. I didn't know that it was used to like stick the IV in your arm. So I don't know. If you guys are more medically inclined, you'd probably be better at it. I'm just born. So thank you guys so much. And until next time. Bye.